here in in Florida, where I spend half the year training and whatnot, the the water and the sun is the huge, huge issue. This rail, has, you know, it's been out here just one season. Well, this pole has wood on the inside, and then it's encased with. Yeah, that's effort. awesome with the polyethylene and the caps on the end here so no moisture gets in there. It's a little heavier pole which as a jumper rider I'm guessing you like a little heavier. Yeah, it's, the weight of the pole really is not a, a big factor to me other than I, you do need it to be safe and and sometimes I get concerned with too heavy of a pole the horses hit it and you have a you know the nice what I think is a proper jump cup. Yeah. Uh, you want it to give. Yeah. You don't necessarily want it to hold them. In the polyethylene? Yeah. The color's molded. Yeah, right it. onto the, and yeah, that's. it's molded into it, so, you know, over time you might scratch the plastic or whatever, but it's not yeah. gonna chip and peel. It's a great rail with the weight is just right. We've tried to take this material and destroy it. We weren't, weren't able to yeah. run it over with the truck and everything yeah. else. So. Yeah. These have been sitting out here in the ring with the the sprinklers going off and the sand gets wet and heavy and sticks to them but the beauty of it is is with a dry towel you can just run down the down the rail and, and it just cleans up perfectly there's no way that's happening with the wood rails or rails that are painted there's never any repainting of these they're able to take the weather conditions and it's easy enough with the dry towel just to give them a wipe off and literally like new <laughs> <laughs>